Hey guys and welcome to Feywood. So this is the next project along for my backdrop and for this project I wanted to create this lovely little romantic looking um, glass jar covered in roses and I had this little jar that I'd bought from the just the supermarket actually and I had some other projects in mind for it but I decided it would be good in the backdrop and be good for storing things in it and things like that and I could then decorate it. So I have this gold lace that I had on hand and I originally got this lace from eBay and it was quite affordable and it's been really handy in a lot of projects so um, you know definitely check out eBay if you're looking for different things like this I'm sure you'd find similar lace like this one I had I have two different versions of the gold lace and they just come in a big long um, trim roll so um, you cut the little applique sections off as you use them now I've used the Boyle's craft glue for this which is a really good tacky glue and it just holds things on um, a bit better than say a PVA while it's drying which can be handy if you're wanting to move along through the project a little faster. Having said that though, as I did this, um, as I did a few flowers on one side, I did need to let that dry for a bit before I could then go to the next part to make sure that nothing, you know, slid off or fell off or what have you. Um, I just gave it, I think it was half hour to an hour between sections and um, went on and did other things while that was drying. So I wanted to use a lot of the flowers I had in my stash and these are flowers that came from other projects that I'd salvaged off things that um, I weren't, wasn't using anymore. A lot of them were used on those cardboard um, storage boxes that I had in my backdrop if anyone's been watching my videos and remembers those and I didn't want to waste them so when I redid some of the um, storage and shelving and stuff um, and got rid of those cardboard boxes I pulled all the flowers off so I could use them for something else and one of the projects is this one in fact I think most of the flowers that I had went into this little jar I do have other flowers, but these are all the ones that I've had um, re-salvaged from other projects. And I think it's really good when you can do that because, you know, if things can be used in different craft projects, it's not as wasteful then. And you can think of um, interesting ways to use things. You can repurpose things, you know. Um, you've seen me use a lot of old jewellery and stuff like that. And in this I use um, an old piece of material. So I definitely recommend trying to use things you have in your stash and reuse things. So I've got some quite large flowers on there but I quite liked the look of that. Um, and I just randomized how I put them on there. And then for the lid, like I said, I had an old bit of material that I was using and just cut it into a little square and I've hot glued it around the rim. Now I want to make sure I can still open this jar so I'm only gluing it um, on the rim itself and not underneath or anything. And I want a bit of of lace trim just to really hold that taut against the lid but also it'll add a bit of texture later on as well. Now it doesn't look like much right now as you can see um, it's a whole hodgepodge of different colors and textures and things um, way too much going on in this design um, designs usually work best when you minimize what you have in them. If you have too much happening, then you have nothing happening at all. Um, so you really want to focus on either a color palette or a theme or something 
and not have too many elements to something. And that's just sort of across the board, I think, for design. Now to even up this um, jar, I put the flowers that were around it on the top as well. And I just kept them for the very top of the jar, not covering any of that lace. So now it's time for painting and I did use a different colour, I'll have to put it in the um, description um, or I'll put a little notation because I've forgotten what colour it's called but it's not the oil rubbed bronze, it's similar to that though. So now that I've spray painted it you can still see a little bit of the colour coming through, I wasn't um, making sure everything was fully covered but I did want to bring back the red in those flowers and make the other flowers red as well and I've used my Nuvo uh, glitter paste which I've been loving for a lot of projects it's been so handy because it's such a thick glitter that is has quite a good coverage so it was perfect for this because I wanted that red color to really come out So I just love the way those roses look now with that ruby red colour um, and the charcoal grey and gold, it, I just think it looks so pretty. So there it is so far. Now me being me, of course I felt it needed some more bling. So I've used the same glue and um, I have these little rhinestones that are quite a gunmetal colour. Again I got these from eBay and it's really quite cheap. I think I got them for um, about two dollars per packet of a uh, hundred or two hundred or something like that. I'll try and find the information and pop it in the description box for you guys if it's still available. But you know just have a look again on eBay. You can see I buy quite a few things on eBay um, obviously I buy them on other places as well, Etsy and um, craft shops and other things but uh, I have found quite a few good craft supplies on eBay. Now you just do this again bit by bit, um, you don't want to do too many sections at a time and I did find it, it dried pretty well by the time I was ready to move along. There was a couple of times where I did a section and needed to let it dry for a little bit before I moved somewhere else just to make sure that none of the crystals were going to move around. Um, you know, especially when you're turning the jar all the way around, you don't want those crystals underneath that are sitting on the table to be wet because they'll just come right off. So definitely make sure it's dry enough between you know doing different sections so that it's either not sliding off or just coming off because you've sat it on the table or what have you. Now I happen to find this little piece of um, gold, uh, I don't know if you'd call it ribbon but um, twine or what have you that I had in my stash and I wasn't using for anything and it was a little bit um, broken in like part of it was cut off that I'd used for something. Um, and it was just this tiny little piece so I decided to use what I had and wrap it around and I really like this gold accent at the top I thought it was a nice finishing touch so you might decide to do something like that as well um, or you could just leave it as it was and that's the finished project so a very simple one this one um, but you know very doable at home if you've got flowers in your stash, lace and what have you, give this one a try and pop it in your backdrop and then you can store things in the jar 
to boot. Alright guys, I'll see you next time in Faywood. Bye guys.